<laughs> Fourth period dude physics here, and we're doing heat energy, okay? Temperature changes with heat energy. When you put a hot object and a cold object together, you have to use Q equals MC delta T twice. Number seven, a 1.510 squared gram piece of glass at a temperature of 70 degrees is placed in a container with one times 10 squared glass of water initially at a temperature of 16 degrees. What's the equivalent to? All right, so the hot one would be the glass, right? So it's going to be, it's going to send the heat into the water. Okay, write that down. Write it down, Chris Perrin. Pencil, hand, physical. Now, are you going to have the same heat capacity for the glass and the water? No, this time you're going to have to use all these numbers. <laughs> Sorry, Ariana. 1. Uh, MC delta T of the glass, okay? equals negative MC delta T of the water. Yes, no? Okay. 1.5 times 10 squared. Well, that's 150 grams. So that's 0.15 kilograms of glass. Somebody right now, go look at the heat capacity of glass, 840 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Okay. And your temperature change. Well, what's your initial temperature? 70. So it's T2 minus 70. All right. Now, that's equal to negative <clears throat> mass of the water, which is 100 grams, which is 0.1 kilograms. What's the C of water? 4180. 4180 joule per kilogram Kelvin. Okay. Now, that's T2 minus 16. All righty. So, calculate, calculate, calculate. Get that calculator out. Should I do these calculations or let you all try? Okay. So, I'm going to let you guys try. Again, you're going to solve for T2. You're solving for T2, the final temperature. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and calculate. Fourth period, do DHS physics. Wait, you gotta finish it out. Period. I did. Hit that, smash the bell. <laughs>